our Hotspots magazine is celebrating 38 years. It's been documenting the LGBTQ plus <laughs> lifestyle and is the spirit of our Hotspots queer entertainment this week. And it's sponsored by the Broward Center for Performing Arts. In the LGBTQ plus community, we always make jokes about size matters. When it comes to Broward Center, size does matter. The Broward Center for Performing Arts is the destination of choice of LGBTQ plus South Florida for spectacular entertainment in a large variety of performance venues. Broward Center ranks among the top 10 most visited theaters in the entire world, presenting more than 700 performances a year to more than 700,000 patrons. Broward Center is the home for LGBTQ plus entertainers, shows, Broadway, national drag performance, LGBTQ plus choral events, and so much more. And the Broward Center supports one of the world's largest gay communities right here in Fort Lauderdale, in Broward County, and really all over South Florida. They support that LGBTQ plus community and are nonprofits unlike any theater in South Florida. We are excited to tell you about so many of the upcoming shows of the rich 2023 season we are watching that the Broward Center for Performing Arts is bringing to our LGBTQ plus community. And did you know, surveys show that the LGBTQ plus community participates in live theater performance two and a half times more often than our straight counterparts. And that's why they are the sponsor of Hotspots Queer Entertainment this week. Here we go. Last week, Netflix premiered the new series Queen Charlotte, a spinoff of the massively popular Regency-era romance Bridgerton. And the word of steamy gay romance immediately shot to the top of our must-watch list. It's the number one show in the streaming services. But now that audiences have had a chance to catch up with the series, reactions have been all over the place. Queen Charlotte shows a younger version of the Queen's man Brimsley, who is engaged in a secret affair with the King's man, Reynolds, and Viola. In the second episode of the show, we see Bridgerton's first sex scene between two men. While some fans are delighted that finally there is a gay sex scene in Bridgerton verse, others are still frustrated it took this long for Rhymes, that is Shonda Rhymes, and company to deliver on the promise of on screen representation. Grimsley, have you any family? Did you never marry? No, Your Majesty. Who could I ever find who would be free to spend a lifetime with me? I am here. Everyone here cares for the King. Brimsley. Your Majesty. Send in my dresses. Yes, Your Majesty. Perhaps this is good. Perhaps it is bad. Would you like to step indoors while we wait to find out? Warm up a bit, it is a cool night. Thank you, sir. That is very kind and generous of you to offer. If, if you allow yourself another ride, I do not think I care, but mind, he is of the right station. I am not. That is not what... There are no other riders. I am simply below stairs. I'm always jealous that the King's man has far better quarters than the Queen's man. To be expected. I am more important than you. <clears throat> I do not suppose you would allow me to cool down in your chambers later. I might allow it. Mm -hmm. What would you have the king do? A gesture? Mm -hmm. Voila! So, Viola! <laughs> Viola! Viola, Viola. Viola there it is. Our Hotspots Queer <laughs> Entertainment headline of the week, Bridgerton Queen Charlotte, features king and queen's footmen, 
in a hot gay love story. Right. What do y'all think? So Anybody I, seen it so I far? love this. I've seen it already. Um, you saw I all six episodes? All six episodes. Okay. I've seen the first two seasons of Bridgerton right. uh, multiple times. Absolutely love the storyline. I love this as well because it goes into the backstory of that character. So, you, you know, now we're going to spoiler see... alert. I warn everyone. Yeah. You really? Now you're going to warn, you warn, warn us. Because you didn't warn us. It's, right? it's nice yeah. to see the storyline um, behind the characters that you've come to know in the first two seasons. And it's just really heartwarming to know that you know this type of story you know can be seen um and this time type period also even though it's fiction like so everyone this continues knows the it's story fiction. from bridgerton or well this is this is a spin-off so queen it's, it's charlotte it up in advance it's yeah. a prequel okay mm -hmm. don't watch yeah, show also, prequels with al ferguson yeah <laughs> ruin it yeah, yeah and i also love the fact that the the actress that plays queen charlotte um good uh rochevel is um she's Guyanese. Yes, yeah, she so is. I'm really excited oh, about that. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. so cool. I'm really proud of that. So, you know, shout out to all of my, you know, Indo-Caribbean uh, family and friends. And Viola, and, you and have Viola, there. Viola, you know, <laughs> like, like, I love Voila. that. But I do, I do want to address one thing about like the outrage that like, oh, finally there's this representation, you know, on TV because I honestly think it's ridiculous. 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 Number one, first of all, I'm going to start with, I'm a certified diversity professional. Yes, you are. Right? Mm -hmm. And I don't think there needs to be a gay seat in every single movie, That's every single TV, right. every single so ad. It's just, it's mm -hmm. absolutely absurd. Yeah. You know, so the people who are outraged, at, you know, that they're waiting for the storyline turn off it, your tv it's it's just dumb and i'm dumb. sorry i'm sorry to like be go so blunt OnlyFans. about it yeah. you know but like go watch something that you know appeases to you you know or go write your own storyline right right yeah but, um let's let's talk about what happened right in, i'm like how woke up in the show <laughs> like, no. so uh the king's man um and the queen's man um uh like each other i uh, they ha they have beautiful moments like they're standing there and they have to stand for hours waiting for the king or the queen no. or the king and queen are together and so they stand at a door literally for hours there is a scene where one just moves his hand mm -hmm. just enough to the move down the fingertip <clears throat> of the one next it is so sexually beautiful of what they do to complete Mm -hmm. outright it's very romantic it's very romantic to absolutely outright sex and it, it is a sensory interesting play. a sensory play yes uh, exactly mm -hmm. and and what's interesting to me is uh Ooh. shonda rhymes gets credit for doing this she mm -hmm. didn't have to she did not have no. to write this story in in the way she did because she could have implied by the touch or by a right. simple kiss they're having sex no no that's not what she did. Yeah. Yeah. And, so and it is so beautiful. So I, I didn't see Bridgerton. I have no intention of watching Bridgerton. Oh Can I watch this? It's and so not, good. And, yeah. not, and, and not... It, it would have no effect Great. on I'm enjoying this. Me too. But once you watch this, you're, you're going to want to watch, watch the other Bridgerton. one. All right. I hope that's watch, so I love it. You yeah. fall in love with what she is doing, uh, what I would imagine 70s, 80s soap operas were like on steroids. You understand. My gosh, I cannot believe that they've captured me in. The person that I live, we binged. I watched it a second time He's yesterday. Your boyfriend, by the way. Yeah, my boyfriend. There's people that uh, say we, we forget their partners, we, like their pronouns, <laughs> like their, their, their <laughs> names. I, like, I, I, I hate to out him because I, <laughs> you know, I don't want people to, uh, you know, I'm out, um, you know, public. He is not. He's out, but uh, y'all know what I mean. Um, he's nice. You're not. Yeah, you don't exactly. want people to think that That's he's right. like you because exactly. he's not. There it is. His boyfriend and is so, amazing. Right. So can we also and, and by the way, I love Teresa. <laughs> Same thing. Um, <laughs> hey, can we, can we, so can we wait, also, wait. Let me, okay, uh, okay. let me finish the observation. He sat and watched all six episodes. Mm -hmm. And into episode five, he starts to cry. In episode six, he cried all the way through it. Yeah. Because it just captures you. It's like, my God, if this world existed the time period is like approximately 70 1750 1760 it's right prior to the american revolution and the the colonies beginning to revolt against britain it is so beautifully done it is beyond so, beautiful. but why did he cry because of just the sentiment of how the passion how beautiful it was or because somebody died well la, there la, la, there la. is this no no okay. and, uh, there there's this storyline but the story between the king and the queen is also magnificent mm -hmm. because the king has dementia. He has mental illness mm -hmm. and he is losing his sense Aww. of life. And the, and the story, queen is very protective about and the that. King, er, and the queen is yeah. very protective of it. it okay. It's just, it hits on everything. So, can so we, on can the we, sixth episode, there's a lot of crying. 
So, okay, I just watched Otto the other day and I couldn't stop crying. Oh so I, need, Wait, I need a break. I want to tell you something because we've talked to a lot of shows that you've gone in and said, yeah. oh my gosh, yep. this is a show you would go okay. in and go, I'm holy crap. I'll and then once you. you do this, okay. then to Bridgerton, first season, <laughs> then to Bridgerton, second it's season. It's so good. It is so yeah. good. So, um, Do we think, one last thought, do we think um, these kind of, you, you, we make the observation, you make the observation, we don't need this kind of storyline and everything yeah. that we do. Do we appreciate the overt attempt to do a beautiful story that is not highly, bros was highly yeah. overhyped? I think this was very tastefully done. Mm. Yeah. It was very romantic, like, you know, what jo Jonathan yeah. was saying, you know, not necessarily sexual, but it was just very, it was romantic, you know. Let me, I, I, it also hits, sorry, them, I, okay, I but, it, 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 but it also hits all the markets, and so I agree, Kelly, we don't always have to have that, that one storyline, but can we hit all the markets? A, it kind of lets people know that there was a person of color who could be a monarchy, there's a person of color who could be royalty. Mm -hmm. Additionally, the... It's out, it sets the scene of diversity. So when they're walking through the, the courtyard, you see the variety of faces that all, don't all look like the same. So you can identify with someone inside of the show and be like, whether or not it was that love scene or whether or not it was the king or queen, but I could be there. I could be a part of that. And so what Shonda does is she takes that story and makes it more realistic, makes it more appreciative, makes it, more, it, it does pull you in. It's very much relatable because you can see yourself within it all. And so I think she hits all the marks as well as makes everyone feel comfortable and who they are and what exactly they are. Exactly right. Spoiler alert. As example, <laughs> spoiler alert. Um, uh, one of the things that's explored in the story is these two, the queen's man, the king's man, they're dedicated exclusively to the royal king or queen. Well, what kind of relationship in life can they have? Because Nothing. basically 24 hours a day, they are they belong to the king or they belong to the queen. So at one point in the show, the queen asks late in her life, did you ever marry? Yeah. Did you ever have yeah. any relationship? I am, I am you. So he's gone through 40 some years with nothing except serving the queen. Yeah. And, and one of the things of the story going on between the king's man and the queen's man is at, at one of the royal balls to uh, cover the king's dementia yeah. and, and lack of mental capability to parliament, uh, the king's man and the queen's man, as well, everyone is celebrating and dancing at the ball, of which, by the way, Shonda Rhimes uses modern music in a classical yeah. way with cellos mm -hmm. and viol yeah. mm -hmm. violins, etc. Violas. Uh, cla <laughs> viol 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 right? Classical, <laughs> classical presentation of modern yes. music, mm -hmm. which is beautifully mm -hmm. done. The two of them are in the side gardens dancing yeah. together. And then it goes back and forth to the Ow, Bridgerton time. I don't even have to watch time. it anymore, bro. You've already told me the whole right? thing. Right? I just want to finish. Alert. I want to finish the observation. The two of them are dancing, and then 40 years later, one of them is dancing in the exact same spot by themselves. He told us the whole way. He, he told us the whole story. You, you yeah. will love it. No, no, no. Uh, you will love it. I'm, I, it, it is it's, just. It was heartbreaking. Is yeah. It, is it, is it OTPO? <sighs> like Abuelo Auto? Yeah. Oh, God. So, so, yeah. so basically, what I said was we mixed, we touched, <laughs> we loved, we danced, you died, I danced by myself. Yeah. Story. Right. <laughs> that's, no, that's, but we got the Cliff Note version. That's our story, by the way. It is our story. going to be our story. Well, that's, All right. He did call me, on my own. He did call me Bobby Brown the first time he met me. And here we are. So, yeah, we met, we, we danced. Bobby Brown, I here we are. Bobby Brown. <laughs> I, I got it. All right. And there's the joke. Uh, Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story not to yeah. be missed. Yeah. Streaming right. now on Netflix. Exactly. All right. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show from Happening Out Television Network. In the model of PBS and NPR, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community. With more than 100,000 a week watching on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the stories going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.